So hi guys, it's been a while since the custom velocity tutorial, well, actually this is another one, but to a different server. It's a quite technical, but a practical solution to every custom velocity you want, you want to build in in your project. So, let's dive into it. So, before we start, this is another approach to the custom pyro velocity want. So all you need to do here is to convert the scalar volume to a vector volume by using this convert VDB first you need to convert it to a VDB then use this node vector VDB vector merge it's looking for an X Y and Z name so and by the way the uh, volume velocity this volume velocity node it's the same from the fluid the old node fluid source in the volume velocity kernels you can see it's the same, you can use it again. So add the same swirl, scale, gain, offset, all that, future turbulence, all those not. Okay, let's move on. So okay, uh, let's build our custom velocity. First, this is a simple spherometer. Nothing special, you could get it from the shelf tool okay this server and this some attributes density and viscosity nothing special okay so this is the curve that I've chosen for this tutorial you could use any other shape or other object just following those steps okay so first we need tangent u so, sorry Polyframe. So we need that tangent u attribute. Give me the perfect follow off my curve. Now we need to create a volume. So this velocity, change the class to other, and it's a vector float. So let's define the origin. So let's give it a better from. So we need to activate our volume. So we need that VDB activate. reference to that bound. Okay, so this is our volume. So now we need to find all the points on the curve that are closest to each voxel. How to do it? We need that VDB VOP. Ah, sorry. Volume VOP. First input goes to our volume, second goes to our Tangent U volume. So we need PC open, point cloud open to find the closest point. File from volume to our and need, so we need that. So now we need to average PC function. Average our average that tangent. You and export and export it as a velocity and it's a vector. So our volume zero load is we change it to point four as it starts. Okay, so this is our curve. So let's visualize our volume. Okay, and this this is our curve, perfectly represented. Okay, 
So now let's go like we don't need this. So as you all know, the flip solver is a particle based solver. So you could use any force, any pop for pop note. Here I'm using my stand. So let's hide those. As you can see, you could use pop drag, pop wind, any other pop you want. So what I'm interested for is the volume velocity. How to import our curve first? Yes, volume bob. Oh, sorry, yes, field bob. Link that to the volume velocity and we need to import our volume vector volume sample vector field to import ah, for the file name no sorry for that for the file name we need that parameter parameter was to geometry and we need to add our curve our custom velocity to the current velocity so parameter import that velocity vector and add that sorry Normalize it and export it. Export the new velocity. It's a vector, vector, vector. Okay, so show about object. Before that, we need to import. So, create an over. Out curve. Copy. So, oh, it's raised. Let me check. Okay, so as you can see, our curves are pointing outward. So, we need to control our velocity. Scale. Multiply. Income velocity with a parameter. It's this scale. You can you could name it whatever you want. Let's scan and let's give it a minus sign. And let's see. Okay, at the start, look, see that not perfectly following it but what we could do is we need the speed of our velocity and multiply that by the incoming velocity so this is not perfect, but it's cleaner. We reduce that droplets, but we need the clean, perfect curve. So, curve. So, now we could do that. So, we need another influence to push the fluid to the curve. So, we need to create a vector pointing from the voxel to this location. So volume what? Another one. Take volume or tangent to and what X Y Z distance. And input means our second. No, op input. So it expects 
prim and prim UV. So primitive attribute. We need to export that. Prim and prim primitive UV. So we need to sample our we need to sample the position and subtract new position from the hold on subtract that okay so mind export velocity So, out. So let's name it center. So we out center. Copy that. All we need to do is to copy our guess what? field of merge that. Together, let's name it center. So uh, let's paste new path, new path, and we don't need that scalar anymore. And let's keep everything as it is. So let's first visualize the curve again and Let's see the results. Whoa, first something goes wrong. Okay, let me check it. Vector, position, Distance. Ah, I forget to the file. Sorry for that, guys. We visualized again, and let us see. Yep, and that's perfectly following the curve, the new velocity. So, this is it, guys. Uh, I will include the project file in the file description. If you have any question, please don't be, don't be shy. Your feedbacks are more than welcome. Thanks for watching and see you in another one soon this time inshallah.